We're in Shaga. Uh, it's a town close to Mitla, where we're staying, in uh, Oaxaca. And we stopped for their pre-Columbian archaeological site. We didn't know it wasn't opened. And we encountered uh, people working, restoring the tomb in there. And we were super lucky. We lucked out like crazy because we met Luis. He works with Ina. And they are, he's an architect. He's not an archaeologist, he's an architect. Ahí es el basamento prehispánico y luego la hacienda encima, que hay una ocupación, ¿no? Una integración de las arquitecturas. Enmarcaba como allí en el palacio, en el hotel grande de piedra, Ajá. o sea, de la entrada. <laughs> Esta es, digamos que esa parte mesoamericana. Then he's helping people, locals, to restore their, their own heritage to restore their tomb, the tomb of their ancestors. So it's quite interesting that he allowed us to enter the tomb. That was quite an experience. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Qué privilegio, muchas gracias. ¿Sí? En tres años que estamos en la carretera es la primera vez que podemos. Este va a ser el primer recinto. El... Y hay pintura. Hay pintura. Entonces, el color rojo. Todavía hay pintura. Ah. Esta es una tumba cruciforme, tiene forma de cruz, ah. parecida a la que tenemos en la zona arqueológica de Mitla. Ahí hay dos y tenemos una en el cerro. It's original, like the, there's apparently no restoration on the on the motifs, on the patterns, which was really, really nicely preserved. It's incredible, especially considering that the tomb was open for however long, and people were actually coming in. There are graffitis from the from 1901, 1919. 1901, 1886, 1919. Wow. So it's really incredible, and the and the hacienda that it's built over the site is magnificent itself. I know the historical part of the hacienda over the historical site is not very pretty, but it's actually really beautiful. Uh, aesthetically, it's really a beautiful hacienda. Saga is just one of many Spanish towns built upon the ruins of Zapotec sites within the Oaxaca Valley. The tomb at Saga dates back more than a thousand years and the Spanish hacienda was built in the 1500s. Luis works alongside the Institutes of Anthropology and History, as well as local communities, to ensure that Oaxaca's complicated history is preserved for generations to come. <laughs> 